All right, fans, welcome back to the 2009 West Coast Conference Championships here in Las Vegas. My name is Van Nunez from LMU. And my name is Stephen Hobbs from Santa Clara. And the Cinderella Broncos continue their tournament today. The keys to today's game are limit the turnovers, which they did against St. Mary's, and play lockdown defense. Well, the Cardiac Lions here are coming in with a four-game losing streak. All four games lost by four points or less in the season series against Santa Clara. They did, they did win the series, but... Both games, the Broncos just started with double-digit leads. The Lions came out and shut them down completely. All led by Alex Kenner and Ray Nay Young. In the last game, actually, against the, the Broncos, they took out 44 of the 71 points. Those are your two key players for today. Well, I look for Elena Gibson tonight to dominate inside. We'll see how it goes here. LMU taking on Santa Clara. What do you say? Want to see the highlights? I would love to see that. Let's check them out. Early in the first half, Sarah Majors sinks a three and puts the Broncos in the lead. Majors finished with 19 points, going 8-4 for 12 from the field. But that's all she wrote for the Broncos as senior Cassidy Moore brings aggression inside the key up against Claire Goins, knocking her down while posting up. She led the team with 10 first half points. As it happened all season, the Broncos were hampered with turnovers. One on an errant pass by Brittany Purvis and Alicia Shoji had an ugly pass of her own. Head coach Jennifer Mountain obviously was not pleased. The Lion faithful were excited after the first half, walking away with a seven point lead. Going into the second half, Renee sinks two threes to start the second half. She finished with 23 points, 15 coming in the second half. The Broncos, though, answered with a three of their own by Alyssa Shoji to cut the LMU lead to single digits. But nothing could keep LMU off the offensive glass. They finished with 17 offensive boards, including an and one putback by Alex Cowan. The icing on the cape came from Lisa Helmers, who sank the NBA range three ball to give LMU their biggest lead to 16. The Lions finished 7 for 13 overall, and even the men's squad caught on. The Lady Lions go on out to win it 70 to 61. That sets up a third date with the Zag. Well, I love the win, <laughs> and I love that the win takes us to Gonzaga. You know, I, I have so much respect for what Gonzaga does and what uh, kind of job that Kelly has, uh, what he does as a coach and what he's created up there in Spokane. Um, and I feel like we were going to face them in the championship game. No matter, you know, we had to win. We have to take this one game at a time. I guess for me as a coach, you know, I would like to see them in our second game. If we have to play three games, I guess I'd like to see them in our second game rather than on our third game. Do I think it's one of my best games? Um, definitely. I think I was in the zone, I guess you'd call it. Um, I wasn't thinking too much. I was thinking just enough, I feel. Um, I really want to get to the championship game. I know that our team really wants to get to the championship game and win the whole thing. Uh, you know, looking at the stat sheet and then obviously watching the game, I think it really came down to rebounding. Um, we can't give up, you know, 17 <laughs> offensive boards and expect to, to be in the game at the end. So I was really, really proud of our effort. I mean, yesterday and today, you know, I think we did a nice job of of actually uh, putting everything together and culminating our season with, with great efforts. I'm Manny Nunez. And I'm Stephen Hobbs from WCC-TV 360.